And joining us now, Zepp Jasper, Auburn guard. Zepp, 3-0 and in conference play. How does uh, how does that sound? Oh, it sounds great. Um, you know, being the, being the 3-0 and team, um, still got a lot of room to climb. Um, you know, it just feels great, you know, to be a 3-0 and team and just, you know, see Auburn at the top. You know, you see all these teams. You see Auburn being 3-0 and and getting the respect we need to get. Um, I just think it's incredible. You know, coming in, we was ranked 22, and now I think we're ranked like number five. I think we climbed the ladder, you know, since the start of the season. Um, ever since that UConn, UConn loss, I think we've been playing a little bit hungry, hungrier and grittier, and um, I just enjoy it playing with these guys. Yeah, CBS put out a put out a top 25 Sunday morning, had you guys at number two, Baylor at one, Auburn at two, which is – uh, fun to see. If you're watching or listening to the show, you obviously love to see that. I'm sure you guys uh, enjoy the respect, but at this point of the season, it, it doesn't really matter, right? Um, yes, it really doesn't matter. Um, like I say, because the, the end goal is to is to win a national championship. Yeah, That's all that really matters. But um, as of right now, we have to take each game one at a time. Like, never get high for one game. You gotta have the same type of energy for every game, like Florida game. We had to, we gotta have the same type of energy we have for Florida game for Alabama game. We can't just lead to just cause the name on their jersey, just cause they rank higher. Um, we gotta come each game and, and make sure we come with every game with a lot of impact and with a lot of energy and a lot of toughness because we got a target on our back and we have a target on our back that every team we play they're gonna want to beat us. Every team we play is gonna be a big game. So we have to come out each game with that energy, with that focus, that enthusiasm um, is important to us, to, you know, to keep rolling, to, to, to keep listening to coaching and to keep listening to our coaching staff because, you know, each game is important. We, we want to win the SEC championship. We want to win the, the SEC conference championship. We just want to win everything. We want to make history. This, this is a team. I believe we can make history. We can, we can make a run. And, and I just want to, we want to leave a mark. That's the biggest thing on this team. Right. Well, you guys are certainly on your way. Something that happened in the Florida game is we knew it would happen at some point this season. And it finally happened with, with some key guys, Jabari and Kessler, both getting into foul trouble. And Kessler fouled out with a few minutes left to go there. But you guys ran into a situation where the refs wanted to call everything, which... That happens. I'm sure you guys are, you know, preparing for that over the course of the offseason and saying, okay, you know, there's going to be times where the refs are not going to let you, you know, be aggressive on defense and, and you know, whatever kind of goes along with that, Zep. Mm -hmm. But when a lot of your key guys are on the bench for extended period of time, especially, you know, Jabari sat out for like, I think it was like a six or seven minute stretch in the second half. We're not used to really seeing him doing that. What does it say about this team for you guys to kind of roll with the punches that come along with those types of things? Um, it says a lot about this team. It shows how deep we are. It shows what type of character we got. When one man goes down, two man goes down, we bring four, we bring three. No matter no matter what we bring, we we a team. We fight together. Like I say, one man go down, the next man is gonna come even stronger. Um, that what that was so scary about this team. This team. We got so many pieces, and we got we got players that can start on any other team. So that's what makes us scary. And it, it's like, it's like, as soon as one man go out, it's like the man get even stronger. Yeah. It's like, it's like firepower. It's like superpowers when we get in the game. It's like, dang, I thought these guys are gonna drop off. It's like the opponent sees. It's like, um, it's like, man, he just playing pressure defense. Now I got another guy playing pressure defense. Right. I'm tired of that. I'm like, it's like, it's like the eyes light up because it's like. He, he can score even better. He can, he can play defense even better. So it's like these guys, they're full of energy. They, they, got, a, they got a lot on their table. They got 11 pieces. Like right. they play together. It's like we're super strong. We're together. And as long as we stay together, we can win. As long as we don't be selfish, as long as we do what we got to do, like I say, listen to coach, listen to coach staff, make sure we watch, watch the film, make sure we key in on key guys and certain things. I think we can win. I think this team can be special. I would love to see the metric, and I'm sure it exists somewhere, and, and Zepp, you may know it, I don't know, but how much you guys outscore your opponents in the last five minutes of the game? Because there's been several times 
throughout this season where it's been close and then within the last five or six minutes of the game, you guys pull away. And I think depth has a big part to do with it. Like you said, you just, you guys just wear the opposing teams down. But mm -hmm. like this Florida game was close with five minutes left. And then, oh, Auburn won by double digits. And and so, you know, I, I think you saw that with one of y'all's trips to Florida early this season, the St. Louis game when you guys played there and kind of had to come back and rally. But that has to be something that's going through you guys' mind. It's like, okay, it's close with five minutes left. We've done this several times already. We're going to be okay. Um. Well, um. The, the last five minutes of the game is is crucial. Yeah. That's crunch time of the game. You know, and, and being us, being Auburn, we know the last five minutes is 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 like I said, it's, it's crucial. Yeah. We need everything. We need we need free throws. We need steals. We need we need we need all the little things because if we don't if we don't get those little things, like it's gonna mess us up for the for those last five minutes. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, like we make sure we score like outbursts, like the last five minutes. Um, you have KD scoring, you have Jabari, you have Win, like we have key guys scoring at the end, and that's what help us. And sometimes you have guys like Leor come in the game and you know, he gets he get key baskets. Like they don't key in on him. So it's like driving kicks and and, and they wide open. So it's a key, it's a key factor um on those last those last five minutes of being able to score and being able to stop our, our um opponents. That's that's crucial too. We always play defense the last five minutes without fouling and making sure our opponents don't score. Does Coach Pearl give everyone kind of the clearance to just shoot a three whenever they're feeling it? Is that just the coach trusting the players? Because it seems like even though you got shot less threes than you have in a while, it's the first time in, in a few seasons, I believe, where you, uh, Auburn shot less than 20 three-pointers in a game. But Wendell Green had a few of those that were like from the logo, which obviously gets Auburn Arena excited. Mm -hmm. Um can anyone on the team do that without getting reprimanded by Coach Pearl? Or are there only a few of you guys where he's like, okay, you can just kind of shoot it from that deep two seconds into the shot clock? Well, as long as you're making, as long as you're making those type of shots, um, BP won't say a word. Um, he's one of those coaches. He's going to be hard on you no matter what. Mm -hmm. um, he just want to win. He wants to succeed. That's the biggest thing on, on BP. Um, but he, he let his players play with freedom. But like I said, he's he's always hard on himself. He's always hard on his players, his coaching staff, and right. everyone, even the managers. He just want to win. He got a big heart, and that's what's so big about him. Um, no matter how good we're doing, he want to make sure we stay on track to be humble and play play hard as we can because he's never satisfied. He he, he always want to get better each day. Um, each day counts, and um, that's his big that's his biggest thing. Long as you play hard. And does what he says. You have all the freedom you want, right? And I think that makes sense, and and you guys definitely respond well to that. Zep, you guys getting ready for Alabama? This will be your first time participating in this, this epic rivalry. And over the last five years or so, um, it, it's really, really picked up. Really became contentious, and, and you know, a, a lot more pride on the line with these two programs and what we've seen throughout the history of both of these teams. I mean, they're both kind of peaking right now at the top of their game. And so how are you guys preparing for, uh, for this road trip uh, to take on the Crimson Tide? Um, well, the Crimson Tide, they're, they're a great team, great coach, great players, um, great guards. Um, the way we're preparing is, you know, watching a lot of film, going to a lot of sets, you know, and just, and just being, you know, prepared, having our mind ready because, you know, it's our rivalry. This is a game we need. Like we might be on a winning streak, but you know, just this is an important game. This is a road game. This is a true road game. So it's like we have to be locked in. We we need this win. It's crucial because it's a true, like I said, it's a true road game. So to get this game under our belt, it it'll be it'll be very successful. We'll be very happy. Um, you know, going f just to go four and zero, um, beating Alabama. That'd be a, a, a thing that's that makes you super happy. So going into this game, I think we got to lock in super, super yeah. duper so much. Um, like I say, because this game is a, a top notch game. This this gonna be an important game. This this game might come in um, the SEC in the SEC conference play. So um, this this is gonna be crucial. 
And like I say, every game counts. Every game counts. But this is a big game. This is a rivalry game. Those guys are come out. Those guys are gonna come out to play. They, they just lost to Missouri, so and we get you got Auburn number five team coming in. That Alabama team, so you know, Alabama is gonna come ready to play. Right. It's just about us, you know, being on the road. This being our like this. This gonna be our, our our first really, 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 really true road game. You know, versus a very great team. Yeah. So we gotta come to play. We gotta come to win. That's this got to be our mindset. We got to win, no matter what goes on, no matter what they crowd says. We got to win. Yeah, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be an incredible game, no question about it. Zep, how long were you at Auburn when somebody kind of sat down with you and explained the Auburn Alabama thing, or when it kind of you know became real to you? You know, just how much these two schools and these two teams hate each other. How how um how how long did it take for you being you know an Auburn Tiger until that set in? Um, well, it probably took probably a week when I got on campus. Okay. You know, I just started looking at stuff. And, um, the, the thing I tried to do in practice was I got a lot of Under Armour shoes. I tried to pull out a red, um, pair of basketball shoes. So I put out red basketball shoes and tried to go practice in them. And it was like, uh, -uh. you got to take those off. You got to take those off. I say, why? Um, those Alabama colors. I was like, yeah, mm-hmm. I'm gonna I'm gonna take them off. I ain't gonna wear them again. So I never wore them again. Who stopped uh, you? Do you remember? Um, one of the coaches. One of the coaches had stopped me. I love and, that. Um, and I, they had told me we don't, we don't wear those. We don't, we don't wear those shoes. And I said, okay, I, I'll get you. I got you. And then ever since then, I never wore a red pair of shoes. No Under Armour red pair of shoes. Even when I'm just working out, I never. I say I ain't wearing red no more. I love that. Do you and, still have those shoes? Or did you get rid of them? I still got them, but I I don't even know where they yeah. at right now. Yeah, I and got. Then you. when I, I went to the Alabama um football game, Alabama Auburn football game, yeah. maybe even hate him even more. So what an environment, right? Wasn't that crazy? It was a crazy environment. I wish we would have got the win, but so you know, close. Yeah. it was super close. It show it shows you know how how important it is to get those wins. That that give that give your team a boost. It gives that spark plug. It shows who's the best in Alabama. Right. There's no question about it. Zep, good luck on that road trip um, Tuesday night, and we will talk. Uh, we'll talk again next week, brother. All right, thank you.